Hello community! Now, let's have the biggest three available large language model available for free, and I have a particular task. Let's compete now. So, here we go. I have a simple task. I want the complete ideation process for my new homepage done by AI. Now, you know, there are a lot of other alternatives. You can draw mind maps, you can discuss with your colleagues or whatever. Or if you want a process solution, ideation is the process where you generate ideas and solution through sessions such as sketching, prototyping, brainstorming, brainwriting, the worst possible ideas, and a wealth of other ideation techniques. And of course, if you know IDEO and you have been trained by IDEO like I have, so ideation is also the third stage in the design thinking process. And now I would like to see how much is AI valuable for me. So here we have, I have one identical task and I take the three biggest free conversational AI system. And you know those, ChatGPT in the free version, the 3.5 from OpenAI, the Bing Chat, supposed to be a GPT-4, but with Prometheus and the Turing models, I don't really know what system I'm going to get with Bing Chat from Microsoft. And then relatively new is Hugging Face Chat, or Hugging Chat, which is based on a 30 billion free trainable parameter Llama model. And you know, there's some problem with the commercial license here. But these are my three systems I want to try out today. And the intelligence, you might ask, where's the intelligence? This is my ICL prompt I will use here on all three machines for a continuous learning and an iterative optimization of my, optimize, of my ideation process. So this is one prompt that I will input in all three machines. And this prompt is, you know me, ICL. So I see read all the instruction and respond, got it? So at first I tell him you're an advanced and intelligent idea creator, PhD in human psychology, you know how to use emotional trigger, and you help me to create and design the most informative, concise, and attractive text segments for my new homepage. And we have a process that we go through, A, B, and C. A is easy. Whatever is my input, he will, or chat GPT, or the system, will optimize the text. And it comes back with an optimized text based on new insights and ideas. Then B, I want that the system provides me with three additional suggestions based on A, on what further details I could include to optimize the text, and C, if there are any open questions left in the context of A and B, or have I forgotten something? So what additional information is needed in the judgment of our conversational AI system. And then as this is a process I go through, A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C. And whenever I feel that now the ideation process and the text that is created by the system is perfect, I say end, and I say now comes the second part. I will submit you this optimized text and you become now a designer for my perfect new homepage to generate the main elements of my new homepage, the title, the hero, the main header text, the text for the paragraph, the overall design. So design is now the second step, the layout of my homepage. And we will continue this iterative process with you, the AI system, interrogating me, and you present helpful insights and update the text in the optimized text section until we end. This is one prompt that enables the machine to have a continuous conversation with me and I can continuously update. So this takes care about here that you do not have start new or do you do not have to have a, a vector database externally outside of AI where you have to keep track. No, with this little specific ICL prompt, the system remembers and the system optimizes itself and you have not to store any external data outside of the AI system. And I think you will see this now, or you want to see this in action. So let's have here a comparison of the biggest three 
conversational AI systems that are, of course, large language models. So here we are. Now, if I want to create the content of my homepage, let's see how ChatGPT can help me. Now, at first for the prompt, I have here a specific prompt design. I show you it is rather easy. I say, hey, read all of the instruction. I want you to be an advanced and intelligent idea creator. You have a PhD in human psychology. You know how to use emotional triggers. You help me to create and design the most informative, concise, and attractive text segments for my new homepage. We have a process. You ask me, you optimize the text, you provide new ideas, and you have open question, and we iterate over this. If you want, have a look at it, read it, use it. So here we go. Input our main focus. So what, how do I start? I start with what I have. So I have a YouTube channel, 400 videos on how to code AI and specific use cases. So ChatGPT, welcome to my YouTube channel dedicated to teaching you how to code AI systems. With over 400 videos covering various use cases in different application sectors, you will be able to find a perfect tutorial for your needs. Whether you're a beginner or advanced programmer, our videos will be clear and create cutting edge dimension. Yes, beautiful. So you see, he gives me a first impression of here, my first idea, and he already formulates it. Insightful community of like-minded individuals and discover the endless possibilities of AI technology. Nice, already something positive. So now, new ideas that ChatGPT shows me include a section of frequently asked questions to help clarify doubts, support for your audience. Okay, consider featuring case studies to showcase a real-world application of AI systems you teach, giving your audience practical examples to follow. Yes, however, utilize interactive tools, quizzes, or challenges. Okay, I like this. Can you provide me in different sectors? Okay. Advanced programmers, feedback, and help us improve the content. So I say, hmm. Okay, you see, integrate new ideas. We'd like to provide content for beginners, advanced, professional, how to like it in everyday life, insights how the models work, what are the risks associated with it, what AI system or LLM models to choose for your specific task, and provide a platform for my subscribers to exchange their experiences with different models and their recommendations. So now ChatGPT integrates all of this in now and extend it. Um, idea generation, very nice. So I have to read it in a second. As you can see, he's having some open question. Yeah, so new ideas. Incorporate case studies from everyday life, okay. Yeah, develop a knowledge base section of here with resources, links, and recommended readings. Wow, this is almost like a, like a teaching about it. Consider hosting webinars and workshops with industrial experts. Well, I don't know about that. What else? Open question. Most common challenges and questions beginners face. Okay, can you provide specific examples? How do you fasting in? Ensure a sense of community. Okay, so where are we are? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. What else? What else to input? So I provide him now with the information. I would like to have vision transformers and LLMs on everything. And ChatGPT comes up here with a new, and I said also a paid subscription service for some short professional advice, solvable in minutes. This is now also integrated in the next optimized text. You can see our optimized text ideation becomes longer and longer, but it comes up with new ideas. Look at B, new ideas. 
Really interesting. Open question. This is nice. But let's say we end here and we come now to part two of my prompt. So you see, ChatGPT says, great. I will now proceed the second step and become a designer for your perfect new homepage. Provide me please with the details. So I tell him, integrate the text that we created now together for the new homepage. I want to have focus on visual elements, reduce long text passages, and draft here my first elements. And now ChatGPT starts here to create my homepage text for me. It goes, for example, welcome to the my AI education platform. I'm here to help you learn to code and use artificial intelligence system in everyday life with over 400 videos on my YouTube channel. And you see it goes on and on and on. And then he comes now and says here, as the design elements for your homepage, we'll need to work on that together. Here's a list of essential elements we need to include, the hero image, navigation menu, call to action button, testimonials, user-friendly forum, responsive and mobile-friendly design. So here we're now in Bing. And as you can see, set the tone of the response, precise what you like to talk about, and now I integrate here again. So you see the text is a little bit too much for Bing. It's not all in. So let's see if it understands. Yeah, input our main focus. So here we go again. I have 400 videos about how to code AI in my YouTube channel. And I would like to promote my YouTube channel with an additional hope page. So it comes now with optimize, learn AI coding with our tutorials. Easy to follow tutorials will guide you through the basic and advanced techniques, new ideas, most popular videos, uh, testimonials, classical, provide a call to action, okay. What is the target audience? This is a good question. What are some of the most popular topics? Special offers, promotion, this is very marketing. Hmm. Okay, so one that I will take is um, the target audience, the target audience. So my target audience is from beginners to advanced. My target should extend to people interested in AI so they can understand how LLM models work, what are the risks associated with it, and what benefits can LLM have if you interface it in a good and in a correct way to get out the most out of it. So, it, it is not as chatty, it is not as attractive. Add a section that highlight the risk, add a section, provide a clear call. Again, open questions are the same. What are some of the most popular topics? Do we have special offers? offers? What are any specific LLMs? It is not that helpful for me to advance here. So I say I will include some use cases of AI in different academic and industrial sectors, from astrophysics to genetics, from education, to create simple home pages. Comes up with YouTube channel offers wide range of use cases, section, section, clear call of action, any special offers, any special. It just repeat itself. It's just a repeat itself. There's no new idea. No. So I stop here. Sorry, Microsoft Edge, Bing, Chat. I'm so sorry. But no, this is not what I was looking for. Okay, ah, here we are. Hugging chat. Beautiful. So here we are. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Beautiful. So ask anything. Here we go. I just put here the third time the same prompt template in. And I'm just waiting that he comes back and says, okay, let's start. Wow, this takes longer. Yeah, I should mention this is only a 30 billion parameter model and a llama model. So it is definitely smaller. 
Just please keep this in mind. Stop generating. We're still waiting. So I think there's a little bit more leeway trying to understand my specific prompt template now. We are still waiting. And we are still waiting. So what is now the result for my task to create the optimal ideation process supported by a conversational AI, the biggest three model available at no cost today? Now, hugging chat in the free version that I used based on a Llama 30B model gets the third place because hugging face simply sometimes stop responding when confronted with a more complex task. And I have to say my task is not an easy one. Okay, it competes with models that are at least five to 20 times bigger, and this just in one dimension, like in the size of the freely trainable parameters. And I'm not talking about additional reinforcement learning by human feedback. So first insight, 30 billion parameters model like LAMA 30B in particular here, are currently not up to the task for some intelligence continuous feedback. And second place goes to Bing Chat. Bing Chat, as you know, and as noted by Vice President of Microsoft said, it's not always GPT-4 because GPT-4 is too expensive for Microsoft to run. So they are running now on their Microsoft server with the intelligence switching by Prometheus here, the Microsoft Turing models, which are much cheaper for Microsoft to run. And although Bing Chat has in those days and now been upgraded for image processing and third-party apps and open, the pure intelligent that Bing Chat can provide even after this update is very limited. It has unbelievable fancy features, but given my complex task, it is simply missing the intelligence. And so we come to the winner. Good old chat GPT. No, not the paid plus version for 20 bucks a month, but the free old GPT-3 Turbo is clearly the winner in here at my contest. Powerful performance, continuous ideation, completely interactive, creating brainstorming process with an unbelievable good and free large language model. So if you want to start here iterative processing for your ideation, for a new web page, for a new task, for new goals that you have in your life, whatever you want to have here, a continuous optimization in the communication process, chat GPT from there free, available, biggest LLM is definitely the winner. I hope to see you in one of my other videos.